one of our employees, a long-term employee, um, was uh, in the process of being divorced, um, which was, you know, nothing new under the sun. It happens every day. But uh, she ended up being the victim of a murder by the by the estranged husband at the time. So although they were living separately, um, and that was a pretty new thing, and this was actually by his, his desire as well, um, for whatever reasons, no one will ever know, uh, he entered the home and uh, killed her, her friend, and himself. Now, tell me about the effect this had on the television station and, and the family there at ABC Fox. Oh, boy. You know, uh, there's in your career, you've, you've seen it, too. This, this was a cornerstone-type employee. She, she was something uh, of a foundation for a lot of people. Uh, she'd been here um, for just, it's actually going to be a decade, just a few days after that. And uh, she had worked with all of the departments in some capacity, way, shape, or form, and, and just was a very, very friendly and outgoing and popular uh, employee. So um, the relationships had developed quickly and deep on many, many levels in many, many, many different areas of the building. Um, and so to suddenly have that person here one day and gone the next um, was, it really took the wind out of the sails there. Uh, it, it was a really hard day to come back to work the next day. And then especially, um, to cover it, uh, you know, our main anchor, um, uh, Angela Marshall, uh, they were classmates. So they even went back to pre-professional relationship and, um, that was really hard on her and our, uh, our co-anchor, uh, co-main anchor, David Winter, um, he came in at the exact same time as her uh, new role in the department for news um, as a news director. And so he had already, being new to town, established quite a deep relationship with her. So uh, that was probably one of the, the darker days um, that I've ever experienced in my personal or professional career. Sure. To be honest, I mean, we've all experienced loss in our life, but that type of a loss is really so shocking. Um I mean, it's hard to, I don't want to compare anybody's losses or anything like that, but um, accidental loss of life or uh, dying of old age or something, for some reason, I, I may be a little bit easier to to understand. I understand. But but you, yeah. you folks decided, you you absorbed the pain, you uh, you lived with it for a while, and, and then you decided to do something really constructive with it, with with Kaylee's memory. What What happened? Well, practically immediately uh, within that, you know, the, the thought started to turn to, um, well, what do we do? Uh, you know, how do we recognize this individual and their contribution and, and, and turn, I don't know, something of benefit out of this? And uh, it, it, it came up immediately that um, we should start a scholarship in her name, some kind of a memorial. Uh, this was a young woman who, at a very young age, had her first two children, um, and and unlike uh, a lot of people, it's a difficult road to take, but she decided to go back and finish college. And so she entered college with children and worked her way through school. And uh, that's, not an easy, that's not an easy task for kids who are just coming out of high school and going to school. Um, and to do it with uh, two young babies in the house, um, that's quite an accomplishment. She was very proud of that, that she had done that. Um, and, and she had worked professionally and continued to build her professional career. So immediately, uh, and, the, and the J School, they reached out right away. They loved her. She was a, a UN alum, um, so they were devastated as well. She would still maintained very close contacts with everybody over there, just like me. Um, we worked hand-in-hand on a lot of projects. We'd go over there and, and you know, sit in with classes and talk to them about professional uh, careers, career paths. We'd interview students, all that kind of stuff. So the tentacles ran very deep. Um, and so it, it seemed like a, a natural fit to establish a scholarship, a memorial scholarship in, in her name. So we immediately established, uh, we reached out to establish the KTMF, Kaylee Scalati Memorial Scholarship. And although it's open to any um, journalism, uh, radio, television student, we, we would love it if in some way, shape, or form, um, another student in her situation is applicable. You know, we'd love it to be uh, really strong determined, hardworking uh, females in the broadcast industry, although it's open to males as well, but just because of who she was. Sure. Now, I understand that the the uh, the celebration is going to be uh, Friday night, is that correct? Yeah, it's, uh, it's tomorrow.
tomorrow night. That's their annual Dean Stone Banquet Awards. Um, that's when they get all of their students and the classes together. Um, and, and they have a, a large banquet. It's been going on for decades now. And that's also when they, uh, they announce scholarship winners. And so uh, last year was our very first one, and uh, the, uh, the school, the university, and the Alumni Foundation worked really hard with us to get it in because this happened in May, and there's a lot of steps to the process to establish, and there's some fundraising to go on, and uh, they really helped us get it through. And so this will be our second one, and uh, we were really happy that once we uh, established this, the, uh, the outreach was huge, and my goal was to, at, at the very least, uh, make this a scholarship that had at least a 10-year legacy to, to honor the 10 years that she worked with me. Um, and uh, we hit that almost instantaneously as soon as we let anybody know that we were even doing it. Sure. So how so, much is how uh, much is the scholarship worth uh, to the recipient? Uh, it's $1,000. It's a $1,000 scholarship, um, dependent upon uh, what kind of outreach we get in the future. That, that number can go up, but we try to 